All right, so the, the last component that we wanted to make sure we covered um, that's included in the new rule is the requirement for a written residency agreement or both. And we wanted to be clear that when there was a provider-owned or provider-controlled setting, that those settings required one or the other. So it's perfectly okay for a person with a disability to live in a home or apartment that has a traditional lease like you or I may sign. And if you have that kind of lease in place, nothing else is required. But if somebody you serve who's enrolled in a waiver actually does not have a traditional landlord-tenant lease, there must be a written residency agreement in place. The CMS rule includes some um, more detailed information about what's required to be a component of that residency agreement, as does this rule. And we'll talk about some of those things here in a minute. 